everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing all of my newborn essentials. Keep in mind this is just going to be from my own personal preference and my own experience with my newborn baby girl. Um, she's seven weeks old today um, and I just want to share everything that I have found like essential in her first seven weeks of life. Like things that like we couldn't like have done without. <laughs> so yeah, these are just like the bare necessities, nothing like super bougie or unnecessary in this video. These are like the like basic necessities that in my opinion, I couldn't survive without. So yeah. I'm going to start off with clothes. Um, you really don't need a ton of clothes for a newborn. Um, she was very tiny and she would probably still fit into newborn clothes. Um, I actually, a few of these things I still put her in, but I'm slowly transitioning her to the zero to three month size. So depending on how big your baby is when they're born, they could go right into zero to three months. So don't buy too many newborn clothes. She was a six pounder, so she definitely needed newborn. They were actually too big on her at first, but um, don't buy too many. Wait to see how big your baby is, and then maybe a family member can go and pick you up some more things if you need them. But the only things that you really need are just some basic onesies. Um, I really love Carter's onesies. They're super soft and they have cute designs. I loved this pink striped one and this cute little floral one. And they also have this one as well. So I probably had, honestly, too many onesies. I didn't even get through them all, I don't think. I bought pretty basic and simple designs in her newborn onesies though, so I wouldn't be too disheartened if like she didn't get through them all, if they were all super cute. But these were two of her most worn ones, I'd say. I really liked these two simple designs. Um, and then this one, a friend actually gave to us um, a couple weeks back. She still fits into it, so she still fits into all of these, but um, this is the only one out of these three that I still put her in. Um, and then you might want a couple pairs of pants to go with the onesies if you want, if your house is cold and you want to keep them warm. I can't believe how tiny these were. Um, my sister-in-law gave me these and when she gave them to me, I was like, there's no way my baby's going to fit into them, but she totally did and she probably still would, but I don't really put her in these anymore, but they're so cute and tiny. Um, and then another one that I have, I still put her in this one. This one still fits her this little Bambi long sleeve onesie and it comes with little pants. So if you can find like a little outfit set like this, this was really great. Our house is cold, so this was perfect for her. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it as far as onesies. Get like 10 onesies, I'd say, and a couple pairs of pants or, or more. Um, if you have access to a washing machine, you don't need to buy as much because you can do laundry every day. That's what I've been doing just to keep on top of it and I don't need as many clothes that way. We're also going to need some sleepers. I would probably recommend anywhere from 5 to 10 sleepers. I think we had somewhere in there. Um, I really liked ones that I just got from Target. Um, this is the just the Carter's for Target brand, you know. Um, she's actually um, too long for her newborn sleepers now. So these don't fit her anymore, but I loved this one so much that I went and I bought it in the zero in the three month size so that she can still wear it. Um, this one's really cute. And then if you don't like the snaps, which honestly I don't mind the snaps and either does my husband. We don't really have a hard time. We don't really think it takes that long. But if you're not into the snaps, um, Target has some with zippers um, and they're by the Carter's brand. Um, and the zippers are really nice and I also like it because they have a zipper at the foot as well which is super nifty and um, great for fast diaper changes but um, we don't really have a preference we still buy the ones with snaps too um, but yeah make sure you have sleepers because they're super important to keep your baby warm as far as accessories um, you don't really need to buy hats if you live in a warmer climate um, I bought hats and I didn't need them. Maybe she'll use them in the winter. I don't know. Um, they also didn't fit her. Her She was so tiny. 
the only hat that fit her when she was first born was the one the hospital gave to us so I'd say hold off on hats until your baby is born um, but we did use these little socks these are um, newborn to six months or something like that they're too big on her but i just kind of like cuff them over her pants so her pants keep them on uh, i do recommend getting at least one package of socks um, just to keep their feet warm when they're not wearing something that has a uh, cover on it you're also going to need some burp cloths um, i loved these ones these ones are from amazon um, they're a top rated item i'm pretty sure they'll be like the first one that comes up if you type in burp cloth on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I really loved these. Um, you're gonna go through multiple of these a day, depending on how much your baby spits up. Um, she spat up a lot in the first few weeks of her life. Um, but she's kind of calmed down now, I think. Um, but even still, I go through at least two burp cloths a day. So get yourself a healthy amount. I probably have like eight of them. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need some burp cloths. You're also gonna need the swaddles. Um, so I use swaddles during the day when she's like napping or when I'm holding her and she's cold or I sometimes I use it as a nursing cover when people are over, but I don't use them for when she sleeps through the night, obviously, but I love the like act of swaddling my baby. Um, I think it's really cute and she loves to be swaddled. So yeah, I have this really pretty popular <laughs> swaddle. It matches her crib sheet. This is by Mini, this is by Mini Scout. And then this one is by Milk Barn. It's another one of my favorites. It has pink with some pretty gear on it. Um, you can get this at Sugar Boo and Co. if you're in Disney Springs. Um, and then this one is by Aiden and Anai. It's just a pretty pink with little speckles on it. Um, I have a ton of swaddles and I honestly don't think that I have too many, even though I do have a lot. Um, she's going to use these all throughout her first year or more of her life, even if it's just um, carrying it around or playing on it or tummy time or what have you. They're a multi-purpose product. Um, you can use them as burp cloths as well. And, um, yeah, you don't need to get any fancy swaddles. You can just get super cheap swaddles. It doesn't matter, but I really love like the muslin material, um, swaddles and all three of these are like that. And then for sleeping during the night, I like to put her in a wearable swaddle, um, just so she's nice and safe and it reduces the risk of sits. Um, I actually got this Halo sleep sack from my hospital when we were discharged. Um, I don't know if that's a normal thing that hospitals give, but um, I'm just gonna cover our hospital logo. But yeah, just like a wearable Halo sleep sack or like a lot of different brands make these. Um, so her feet go and then it zips down and then you Velcro it across and you can, um, put her arms in it or keep her, put her hands by her face or you can completely like have the arms out. She already wants to sleep with her arms out. She pretty much has since she was two weeks old. Um, so this was great to have because otherwise, I don't know what I would have done, um, but yeah. And I, I didn't even have something like this beforehand. So I'm really glad my hospital gave it to me because I would have had to pay a lot of money for this. These things are like $40. All right, another thing that is essential for me, it depends on your baby though, um, pacifier. I started giving my baby a pacifier when she was like two weeks old, um, once breastfeeding was well established. And um, I really like the Bibs pacifiers. I'm really glad that she takes them because they're super cute. Um, but yeah, I love using a pacifier. If I can get her to take it before she goes to bed, it also reduces the risk of SIDS, which is really, really great. Um, and yeah, she loves her pacifier. I find that if I wait too long to give it to her though, like if she starts to get fussy and she gets to that point where she's like really crying and I try to give it to her, it's too late. So try giving it to your baby before they're upset and you might um, prevent a meltdown. So yeah. Um, depending on your baby or not, I think a pacifier is essential. All right, I'm going to get into diapering now. Um, the diapers that I have loved so far that have been my favorite are the Pampers Pure Diapers. 
I had like three boxes of these in her first uh, few weeks of life. Um, I haven't bought any since, um, but other brands that I've tried are Seventh Generation, Regular Pampers, Huggies, Loves, and an unknown brand that uh, one of my friends dropped off for me. I, I They have a little bunny on them. I don't know who they're by. They were really good too. But yeah, as far as diapers, I recommend Pampers Pure and I recommend Huggies. Um, I can't really recommend 7th Generation because she would blow out through those a lot and they don't have the line that tells you when she pees. And I'm not a big fan of Loves either because they just smell weird to me. And I sketched out by them because they smell weird. As far as wipes, I've tried a few different wipes on her. My favorite wipes so far though have been the Cloud Island wipes, which I wasn't expecting. Um, these are really thick wipes and they're pretty large and they're not too wet. Um, I was using Honest on her when she was first born and they were so wet and it I just didn't like it. They were leaving her butt like soaking wet sometimes and I would have to like dry her butt off. Um, so these are great. They're hypoallergenic. Yeah, I love how thick they are. I love that they're not too wet. They're a really good size. They're super durable. Um, and they're actually very affordable as well. These are like less, more than half the price of Honest Wipes. And yeah, I really love them. Along with diapering, I find a changing pad super necessary. I know a lot of parents uh are kind of 50 50 on this whether you just you know change your baby on your bed or change them on the floor um i find it super essential to change her on a changing pad plus she loves her changing pad i don't know what it is but i was talking about this to my sister-in-law and her baby loved her changing pad too like i set her on her changing pad and she just gets so happy and starts smiling so it's super cute so yeah Along with her changing pad, I'd say changing pad cover is pretty um, necessary unless you get one that you can wipe down. Um, I didn't because I liked the option of being able to have cute changing pad covers, honestly. Um, but then on top of her changing pad, I usually put one of these. These are little like, I don't know what they're called, but they're like a changing cover pad type thing. I put it on top of the cover to prevent the cover from getting stained. And these are also really great for your diaper bag um, to use as an on-the-go changing pad as well. So yeah, these um, I got from Target. They're by Munchkin and I came in a pack of three. So I definitely recommend these. And the last diapering essential that I have is Aquaphor. I've been using this as my diaper cream. Um, I think it's a really great option. It's great for sensitive skin, which I know she's definitely going to have because my husband and I both have sensitive prone skin and I have eczema. I've dealt with eczema my whole life. So I really, really love Aquaphor um, and this has been great so far and it's all that she's needed. Another essential for me has been her bassinet. Um, I know like this depends on your parenting style. Some people like to put their baby in a crib in a separate room right away. Um, but for me, I'm too paranoid. Um, I need her in a bassinet right by my bed. Um, I just sleep better knowing she's right there and I can check on her multiple times throughout the night because I definitely do. And it makes it so much easier when I have to feed her in the middle of the night because she's just right there and it's easy to put her back down to sleep as well. So definitely her bassinet. I definitely could not see it any other way. And then also along with that, obviously some bassinet sheets. I got mine off of Amazon. Um, they were actually a gift um, from my baby registry, but um, yeah, definitely recommend the bassinet. You don't have to get anything like super fancy. I don't need this new. I wouldn't recommend this new. That's just my personal preference. I feel it just gets the baby too used to that and they become spoiled. And when you go to transfer them to the crib, I just don't think it works. Um, so yeah, definitely. Get a bassinet if you're gonna be a paranoid parent like me and then obviously a stroller and a car seat are super essential you can't take your baby <laughs> you can't take your baby home without a car seat the hospital won't let you do that um but i also find our stroller super essential for in the house um since it's been covid 19 we haven't really been taking her anywhere she's only been to the doctors and we took her to the grocery store once and i was paranoid 
Um, but yeah, I find the stroller super helpful for inside the house as like a mobile bassinet because we have a little bassinet attachment for our stroller. And I find that essential because she can be in the living room with us and sleeping in her bassinet or I can be working all throughout the house like vacuuming or what have you and I can just pull her around with me um, and she's just always on my side. Another essential thing that I almost forgot and I can't believe it because it is like one of my top essentials is a baby carrier. I have the Solly baby wrap and it is amazing and she loves it. She gets some of her best naps in the Solly baby wrap and I'm able to do laundry and vacuum and edit on the computer and stuff and I have my baby with me so I don't have to feel guilty about not holding my baby and also not getting stuff done throughout the day so yeah i really love the solly baby wrap i also have a wild bird uh sling right here i've only used it once i think she's a little bit too tiny for it right now or at least it feels like it i don't think she's as comfortable in the wild bird as she is in the solly baby right now so i'm gonna wait for her to get a little bit bigger before we try the sling again another thing to help with sleep is a sound machine we have the Hatch Baby sound machine and I highly recommend it. My husband and I actually started sleeping with it before she was born so we could get used to it. And we keep it on the white noise sound and it really helps a lot. It helps us as well. So all three of us love it. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. Um, another just random essential that I found that I have needed daily is Dreft, which is just baby detergent. You can get any type of baby detergent that you feel safe using. I know a seventh generation has one. Baby Gannets, I think, has one. I've just been using Dreft. It was what I was gifted um, in my registry. And I was gifted a lot of it. Um, we're actually almost already out of it. So we have a, a guest. She needed to be held, which is completely okay. So yeah, definitely stock up on some baby detergent because you're going to be using it a lot. And the last thing I'm going to talk about are some more like toy type things. So this is more to help her development in like the first few weeks of her life. I highly recommend having some type of high contrast toy. Um, I have a few of these. My mom had actually bought like a package of these for when she was babysitting my niece. So I been using them as well um so yeah any type of high contrast toy to help with your baby in like tracking um so i just kind of like shake it in front of her face so that she can follow it it holds her attention it's interesting for her to look at and it helps with her development so yeah this has been great as well as any black and white and red um board books are also great i use this for tummy time and she loves it and yeah, that about wraps this up. Um, it's time for somebody to eat, so I gotta hurry. So sorry if the end of this video seems a little bit rushed and a little hectic. But thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this time. And I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Goodbye.